Hi, my name is Alexi Vontate, and I work over at Vatican Studios in OC County. My favorite style of tattooing uh, has to do with freestyle um, interpretations of whatever customer brings to me. I, do, I really try to put my own spin on everything, draw it up from scratch. I'm no normally, I'm always drawing straight on directly to the skin. Now, the style I'm most known for is black and gray and also color. I try to stay as diverse as possible. When it comes down to the preference between color and black and gray, uh, I enjoy actually both of them. I was trained uh, by a traditional artist, Franco Viscovi, who uh, he trained me in black and gray. He was an amazing black and gray artist. And um, so with that, I learned a lot about the black and gray foundation. But from there, I also traveled into doing things with color. Uh, when I first started in the industry, I had been a painter. So when I had the opportunity to translate that into color, I took the opportunity. But um, the love for both stayed with me. I have um, quite a few favorite tattoos that I've done in my life. Uh, it's hard to pinpoint exactly which ones I really enjoy. but. Um, I have uh, one that I've done on the chest, which was a black and gray uh, owl. A client came in and he asked me to do an owl any way I desired to do it. And uh, I did my own interpretation, trying to do it based off of memory. And so I drew it directly on skin. Another one of my favorite uh, pieces I've worked on is actually a color back piece. I took portraits, color portraits of inspirational uh, spiritual leaders, uh, such as Gandhi and um, the Dalai Lama. I also took uh, two inspirational painters that I really appreciate, which is Salvador Dali and uh, Frida Kahlo. And so the whole back piece is this fusion with kind of like a very surreal Alex Gray interpretation. So it's one of the pieces that I'm working on that's uh, going to take a while. It's still in process, in the process, but um, I'm really enjoying that one. Another piece that I, I really enjoy is also um, the Skull Addiction series that I've done. It's really hard to pinpoint it down to exactly which one, but uh, I definitely have to say there's this one where I've done uh, a black and gray skull on this uh, girl's uh, forearm. It's a, it's a skull with an upside down heart and uh, roses uh, that have blood on them and uh, the death moth. Coming up with ideas for all the pieces that I do uh, really just has to do with uh, trying to translate what uh, my collectors are looking for. When they come in to get work from me, uh, I try to have a, a, a consultation with them that uh, I could get really in depth into what they're interested in, what they're feeling about the piece, uh, whether they want color or black and gray. And then from there, I proceed to go on and look for references, whether I'm using the computer. Um, technology is an asset in this uh, industry, but uh, from that point on, uh, get my references, try to get an idea in my head, and then I put the references away, and then I just try to draw straight from how I, I perceive the information, how I can interpret it, and try to keep it as unique as possible. When it comes down to getting an appointment with me, uh, I, I am about four to five months booked out. As far as like locking something in, I really like to see that when people are sending me emails, they're taking the, the time to really pursue something serious that they're interested in. Um, I'd like it to be something in depth, something where I can tell a story, uh, even where they've seen my style and they're pursuing trying to get the work that I'm interested in uh, reflecting as far as my body of work in my life. And if someone's looking to get an appointment with me, they can contact me at my email, alexivantate at yahoo.com. My name's Alexi Vantate, and thank you for checking out my portfolio. Thank you.